All right, Julius, uh, I don't want to speak for you, but it seems like this is the biggest fight week of your life by far. But here you are, and you know, I couldn't help but notice yesterday at the open workouts and even now, uh, you seem so calm. Like, are you, is that an accurate, am I uh, reading that right? Are you, are you pretty calm, and even though this is a big step up for you? Uh, I definitely feel a little bit more calm than usual. I think the media and all the little extra things I need to do just kind of keep me distracted from just like sitting in my room and getting nervous over stuff and just interaction with people and media and me just talking about it, it, it definitely helps to cope with things. Um, and at the same time, I think the pressure is off since like all the pressure is on him. He's the champion, he needs to defend it. I was the alternate and uh, now I just need to go in and just, just fight my best. Like people already assume that he's gonna win just because he's a champion and he's fighting the alternate. So I feel it takes a lot of pressure off me. Like I do feel more pressure when I know I'm stepping into the fight that everybody knows I'm gonna win. It's like, oh my God, now I really need to win and that might throw me off my game. Now, it's not, nothing is out there that could throw me off. Now we're just gonna go in there, feel good and perform good and just do the best I can. And just, well, that's how I feel right now. So hopefully that that's exactly how it is, and I feel that's exactly how it will be. Does it motivate you at all, having that idea like, oh, everybody's counting me out, I'm the alternate? I mean, Daniel Cormier, Scott Coker has, has thrown that out there a million times, talking about, you know, Daniel Cormier going to the strike force as an alternate, and look what he went and, and, and did. Uh, do you kind of like the idea that you could be the, under, the underdog that yeah. comes in here and, and, you know, defeats the champion? I definitely like the idea, uh, and it, it definitely motivates you, but, I try not to think too much about it. Like, it's nice. I appreciate the, the idea and people talking about it and bringing it up. And of course, you think about it, it motivates you some, but you don't try to put all your thoughts into it. Like right now, it's even knowing that you're fighting for a title, sometimes you don't want to think too much about that. Like, sure, it's motivating me. It's in the back of my head, but I would need to think about the person I'm fighting. It's like, okay, I'm fighting Namco. I'm fighting a really, really good guy. I need to do this, this, and that. Title will come. All the good things will come. I just need to do what I need to do. And everybody's different. Some people need that extra motivation. Some people need to think about other things. But I think everything, somehow, yeah, everything is just feeling perfect for this one. I feel good. All the extra media is distracting me. I'm not getting stressed over anything and I know I can flip the switch and um, yeah during the five day I'll flip it it'll be different Julius I'll go out there and uh, just do what I got to do yeah no doubt and uh, you were the alternate you were pegged that after your last win um, you were on this card on a three-round fight on the undercard against Carl did you fe have a feeling that this was going to happen like that this was you know that something was going to happen and that you would end up stepping in or were you kind of caught off guard by this this call kind of walk me through that getting the call and, and what your mental was uh you know taking that three round fight first yeah there was definitely a few different stages of that like yes i thought i'll be fighting carl okay cool let's get ready for that then uh, we had a notice that rumble is not doing too well you might have to step in we're like okay like can, can we know like when when can we like know for sure and um so i think there was like a, about a week where we, we just were guessing we did not know but the the idea was big like there's a big big chance that you will be stepping in so it was definitely reassuring like yes you will be fighting for a title but it's not uh, definite till it's definite so it took about a week till like we got a call hey julius uh we're about to work out. I did my warm up. Mike was on the phone. He took me outside. He like handed me the phone. I grabbed it and it was my manager and he's like, Julius, sending you a contract, sign it because you're fighting for a title. So then I was like, yes, let's go. Uh, so that was pretty cool. That was definite. And they announced it on TV a week later. So it was that it was slow warm up for that idea that you will be fighting. It's like, OK, I'm alternate. I know there might be a chance for me to step in against any one of the four guys. And uh, then it's like, okay, you might fight for a title. It's like, okay, the idea is there, that's warming me up. And then boom, eventually, yes, you are getting contracts sent to you. So yeah, just sign it. Yeah, and there's so many layers to it, right? You're going into the tournament, you just mentioned the title. 
Um, what would it mean for you right now uh, to, to be able to, to call yourself a Bellator champion? I know you represent Lithuania. Like, there's a lot going on here. So for, in your mind, I mean, what would it mean for you at this point in your career to, to go in there and win the title on Saturday? It would, it would mean a lot. It's like, whoa. I mean, I would probably be speechless just like right now. Just like I'm trying to think. It's like, which direction would I take? Because it's a lot to take in. You have to, like, think like you're representing Lithuania. So it's like you will be thinking about that. You're representing the gym. You have to think about that. Like, parents are excited. You have to think about them. Like, I'll be going to see them after this fight back in Long Island. So I would have a hard time to know where to put my mind first or where to put my attention because you're representing a lot. Like, I'm representing Long Island because that's where I grew up. I went to high school there, so I have a lot of, like, friends and family. I also represent St. Louis because I've been here for so long and representing Lithuania. So I feel... I would be representing a lot and that and a lot of people would be proud of it so it would it would be a big thing for me to win the attention would come from all the directions and love and support so i'm sure we'll be like overwhelmed with it but in a good way last question uh vadim nemkov's a guy that's you know nearly impossible to beat he's, he's got a pretty unblemished record uh what what will you do differently what what do you bring to the table that, that we'll be able to, you'll be able to go out there and get that W, maybe that he hasn't seen? I don't think I would try to change my game too much. Uh, we've been trying to keep it basic, a pretty textbook. I mean, sure, technique fades out and like technique goes out of the window a little bit as you get getting tired or frustrated. But I'm not gonna change my game. We just have like few considerations of what he might do. He likes to kick, he's really good with kicks. Um, he might set up some takedowns. So, me, yeah, when it comes to a striking, I'll do the same. Just we'll take in consideration of how he mixes things up when he adds the kicks. We'll try to counter those. And just keep it the same as I always did. There is no reason to change nothing. Everything that we've been doing has worked. So, if it's not broken, why fix it?